Jared Leto is an interesting man, and he's had a bizarre career in Hollywood. From rock bands to cult getaways, Jared has done a lot in his life. He also has a slew of allegations against him. Ever since 2005, Jared has been accused of inappropriate behavior with underage fans. How does Jared Leto continue to get away with everything? Let's get into it. I don't know about you guys, but lately I have been so stressed out. And my favorite thing to do is to come home, relax, and have a Vance Global gummy. Vance Global is a CBD and Delta 8 company based in the US. And they sell a ton of products like Delta 8 THC and THCO gummies, which can really help you relax. You must be 18 plus to try these gummies, but they're 50 milligrams each and completely vegan. So these gummies are made with pectin, not gelatin. They also come in a variety of fruit flavors. I personally love these gummies because they help me manage my stress, they help me get to sleep, and they taste great. There are so many reasons to go and check out Vance Global. On top of their gummy selection, they also have THC cigarettes that help energize the body and mind. I love this product because it was created with the intention of helping cigarettes cigarette smokers quit. So check them out and use my code SL04N for any of Vance Global's products. By using my code, you will receive a generous 20% off your order. So go and check out their site. They've got the Delta 8 gummies. They've got the THCO gummies, which those are my favorite. They have so many products. So thank you Vance Global for sponsoring this video and enjoy. Jared Leto is one of the most problematic celebrities in Hollywood. For those who don't know, Jared Leto is a well-known actor who has been in multiple award-winning movies. You guys may recognize him from films like Suicide Squad, Requiem for a Dream. So Jared Leto is at the top of his game, and on top of his acting career, he's got a full rock band. 30 Seconds to Mars is the name of Jared's band that he formed in 1998 along with his brother Shannon Leto. We'll talk a little bit more about his band later on in this video, but I want to start off by talking about some of these allegations against Jared. So Jared is currently getting a lot of heat because people are talking about these allegations that have been adding up for over a decade. There's a long history of predatory behavior here, and today we're going to unpack it all. We all know about the Me Too movement. It started back in 2018, and at the peak of this movement, Dylan Sprouse decided to call out Jared Leto. It was a really strange incident because it seemed to come out of nowhere. He wrote, yo, Jared Leto, now that you've slid into the DMs of every female model aged 18 to 25, what would you say your success rate is? Which is a very shady tweet and part of me thinks that maybe Dylan had a friend that shared a story or something like this because why would he call out Jared? And then this guy named James Gunn replied and said he starts at 18 on the internet, which is another like shady moment suggesting that Jared preys on people who are under 18. So James Gunn is a director, and I guess he directed for the Guardians of the Galaxy, and this wasn't his first time calling out Jared Leto. Back in June 2015, so what, like seven years ago, this guy James went onto the app Periscope, which I don't know if Periscope is still around, but he did a live stream and he made comments about Jared sleeping with underage girls. We don't have a clip of this live stream, but I I mean, this James guy has been hinting at Jared's behavior for years now. It seems like Jared's behavior has become socially acceptable because we've seen it go on for years. There are so many articles and receipts, yet he's still doing this. This article is from 2005, and they write, Jared Leto likes them young. The 33-year-old actor last seen squirning Ashley Olsen and Lindsay Lohan around town has been aggressive pursuing many of the teen models at this hotel. So 
This article is from back in 2005. Someone was quoted saying, I lost all respect for Jared after I met too many teenage girls who have been approached by Jared in order to sleep with them. He's just another rock star who lets his ego get to his head so he could take advantage of young girls. He even hit on my 15 year old best friend. He's no better than Roman Polinsky in my eyes. It's clear that Jared is using his power in Hollywood to score underage girls and that source claims that they met a bunch of different teen models who jared has tried preying on and i believe that dylan sprouse has also met other teen models and that's why he sent out that aggressive tweet but it's not just jared's acting career giving him the clout to get these young girls because he's also got a music career as i mentioned earlier jared and his brother shannon formed 30 seconds to mars back in 1998 and jared is the front man of this band and he acts like he's god he wears these robes he's got his long hair and it's a very freaky situation. I think the freakiness kicks in when Jared uses his musical clout to attract women. And there was once a competition this band threw to pretty much allow a fan to win a night in Jared's bed. I wish I was joking, but I'm not joking because they had a competition where a fan could win one night in Jared's bed to spend the night with Jared Leto in bed, which is such an, oh God, such an egotistical competition, like assuming that their fans want to come and sleep with them. Jared has also been known to ask his fans to get tattoos of them in their honor. So Jared wants his fans to go and get tattoos of him and the band to honor their legacy. Again, this man has some hell of an ego. But sleepover competitions and band tattoos aren't necessarily against the law. But what is against the law is pursuing minors. Because Jared is in this band, 30 Seconds to Mars, he travels around to perform shows. And while he's traveling to different cities, he tries to get with these young girls. One source was quoted saying, he's been approaching all the girls and inviting them to his shows. He's a serial texter. He is constantly texting these 16 and 17 year old girls. It's really kind of creepy. I forgot that Jared was recently in the movie House of Gucci. How does he score these big movies with all of these creepy allegations? But it does seem like these allegations haunt Jared because every time he gets a new opportunity or scores a big movie, people start talking about them again. Let's talk a little bit about some of the more serious allegations against Jared. When you begin to read stories of encounters with Jared from groupies of his band, an alarming pattern emerges. It seems about half the stories state or imply that some aspect of the intimate encounter was non-consensual. Jared has never been taken to court over these allegations. These are all just coming from the victims who have shared their stories on the internet. But there are several different stories of him getting a little too aggressive with women who did not consent and women who are underage. One person made a lengthy post on Tumblr and wrote that when hooking up with Jared, it felt like they were being R-worded and not even like play R-worded. Like it felt like they were actually being harmed. In his mind, it seemed like he thought he was effing R-wording her, which is really aggressive. The victim explains that he would not stop when he was hurting her, and at that point she even attempted to stop him by biting him. Here's another snippet from another article. A number of victims as young as 15 describe getting intimate with Jared, and they suggest that the singer acted despite a lack of consent or continued when asked to stop. One person stated, he was very pushy into coercing me to do intimate things with him and he was quite rough and forceful once he was unnecessarily rough and when i told him it hurt he did not stop he never did anything slowly or for my pleasure and no 
he never asked me if I was ever okay or comfortable with anything he wanted to do, simply because he is not the person to care. Even though a lot of these stories and statements have been made publicly, the people behind these stories have remained private. But back in 2014, there was an article in Star Magazine that featured an adult film star named Vicky Marie Taylor, claiming that back when Jared dated Cameron Diaz, she and three other strip dancers had been invited to a post-concert get-together back in April 2002. Ooh, that's a long time ago. She was quoted saying, The other girls and I stripped down to bikinis and hung out with Jared backstage. After a while, Jared invited me onto his tour bus. His brother, Shannon, the band's drummer, were already on the bus, and the three of us were the only people in there. I gave Jared a lap dance just for a minute, but then he asked me to do the same for his brother, who was sitting on a couch. As I started to dance for Shannon, Jared suddenly grabbed me around the throat from behind and said to me, I, I can reach pure intimate enjoyment in 30 seconds just by looking into your eyes. Obviously, it was kind of a weird situation. Ew. Uh, it sounds like a really weird situation, but why would he like come up and grab her by the throat and tell her that he can like, I guess, finish very quickly by doing that? It seems like he gets off on putting women in... I don't know, vulnerable situations where he's like got control over them physically. And this story was big news back in 2014. People were like, wait, what the hell, Jared? Like, what is wrong with you? Another one to add to the list. One article wrote, what's creepier, that he grabbed her by the neck or that he wanted to watch her give his brother a lap dance? For me, the neck grabbing is disgusting and the brotherly lap dance is just creepy and gross. Now let's switch gears and talk a little bit about Jared Leto's cult because he's got his band 30 seconds to mars and through his band he's been able to develop a cult-like community this article writes jared leto and 30 seconds to mars have a cult on their island and this article is from back in 2019 so it looks like this band 30 seconds to mars has an event where they have their most dedicated followers travel to Mars Island in Croatia to spend time with their people. So the band was formed in 1998, but they started throwing these summer camps back in 2015, and people described them as like a cult retreat. Mars Island is a three-night all-inclusive festival experience. Relax and restore with yoga amongst the trees, take a dip in the pool, catch a midnight screening, or gaze at the stars. You also get two intimate performances with 30 Seconds to Mars. This article writes, looking into the band's eyebrow-raising trips, the publication revealed that its Camp Mars event, which was held between the 7th and 9th of September in 2019, charged about $1,000 for two nights of outdoor camping where you had to bring your own tent and supplies. Very fire festival style. They actually call their concerts Church of Mars. So when they perform these two times, they call that the Church of Mars. I'm trying to make it religious when it's not. If you guys thought $1,000 was a lot, that's pretty much for the cheapest plan. It gets very expensive. Here's a screenshot of some some of the options, the packages you can purchase when you go on this trip, and it goes up to like $4,000 here? Oh my gosh, scratch that! The most expensive plan goes up to $7,000. Wow, one payment of $7,000 for a four-night all-inclusive trip. Here's what one of the rooms look like. I guess this is a $7,000 room because um, you already have your tent there compared to the other packages where you have to bring your own freaking tent to Croatia. Sounds ridiculous, but this is what you're getting into. And they also have add-ons. So if you, you know, wanted to make your trip even more expensive, you could add early entry, um, a massage, a deep tissue massage, uh, a tattoo. How do you like plan ahead and add a tattoo onto your 
event like i feel like do you even know what you're gonna get tattooed like wh why is a tattoo an option so it's a bizarre experience and it's pretty pricey but don't worry the band isn't greedy because jared declared the band anti-greed back in 2013. This article writes, this thirst for devotion from their fans has most definitely played a part in the worrying accusations the celebrity has faced both before and after. Um, so this cult-like energy that he has going on in his fan base has been protecting his bad behavior. And they definitely play into the cult aspects of everything because they have tweeted from their band account Yes, this is a cult with a bunch of different pictures that really makes it look like it is a cult. Apparently, the band uses the term cult to indicate a community of like-minded individuals working together for something. This article also writes, what the hell does Jared preach? Sending rats to co-stars, which we'll get to that in a moment. But I mean, look at the guy. He definitely thinks he's Jesus. He's wearing this white robe. He's got this long hair. He's got all these girls that are following him around i guess there's a lot of women who are fans of their um bands because i really didn't see a lot of guys on this retreat which again is concerning because i guess jared can just pick who he wants through the crowd to have you know intimate and spiritual moments with one article brought up a great point that this band and jared used the hashtag hashtag you wouldn't understand to even further their cult mentality because the, the hashtag, the slogan, you wouldn't understand is trying to pretty much write off criticism. So if people are criticizing this band or this cult, they would just say, you know, hashtag, you don't understand, like you'll never understand. And it allows their supporters to be pretty much brainwashed by this mentality. Now let's talk about a few more problematic moments from Jared's life. So here's a photo from a moment back in 2003 where Jared Leto pretty much attacks Elijah Wood. So Jared came up to Elijah and he said some things to him and then he walked away. So Jared walks away and then Elijah turns to his date for the evening and says something. Well, Something about this must have pissed Jared off because he comes running back to the table, grabs Elijah by the neck, and starts screaming at him. All I could catch was Jared calling him a effing a-hole. He then shoves Elijah and storms off. Bodyguards come up and Elijah assures everyone that he's doing just fine. But that's no excuse for him to get physical with this man. I still don't really understand the premise of why that happened, but... It's not okay, and it's another red flag from Jared Leto. Now let's talk about the time where he sent some really disturbing gifts to some of his castmates, because he is a method actor, so he really likes to put himself in the character's life and pretend that he is that character. This article writes that Jared Leto is a well-known method actor, keeping in character in between takes and going to extreme weight loss measures for certain roles. He has been accused of sending his castmates a dead rat and used condoms. Jared has actually denied this, but he's also admitted to giving some gifts to some of his castmates. Um, he said he was trying to be funny rather than creepy, but a lot of these gifts rubbed them the wrong way. When he was playing the Joker in the Suicide Squad movie, he was quoted saying, I'm playing a guy called the Joker. It's okay to play some jokes. Nothing ever crossed any lines, and it's not up to other people on the internet to create those lines. Well, I get what he's saying there, but some of these actors and actresses believe that you did cross a line. Here's a TikToker who explains how bad these gifts were from Jared. To begin what would become a bizarre trend of sending disturbing gifts to his castmates, he mailed his peer Margot Robbie a love letter and a black box, and this black box contained a live rat. He also mailed his castmate Will Smith a letter along with a handful of bullets but that's not even close to the worst of the gifts that Jared would send his fellow castmates. During the very beginning of filming, Jared was not able to physically be on set, but he wanted the cast and crew to know that he was taking his role extremely seriously. Taking his casting role extremely seriously? I mean, I can't imagine getting a handful of bullets from someone. I would report them to the police or HR because that isn't okay behavior, and it only gets worse. Jared proved this by mailing the carcass of an unalived hog onto set along with a video message of himself. 
Adam Beach, the actor who played Slipknot in the movie, reported that Jared's video message said, guys, I can't be there, but I want you to know that I'm doing my work just as hard as you guys. Jared filmed this video while being completely in character of the Joker. Adam shared that the situation rattled the cast and made everyone uncomfortable. Obviously, this is really weird behavior. I mean, how are you even going to send these gifts? I guess through again, it can't be through the mail. He must have hired someone to deliver things like this. And again, it just it gets worse and worse. I can't imagine working with this guy. It sounds like a nightmare. I really have to censor myself for this next part. But if that wasn't bad enough, Jared also sent his castmates used rubber contraceptive as well as used beads that go in a place where the sun don't shine. Castmates Viola Davis, Margot Robbie, and Will Smith all described Jared's gifts as undescribably horrifying. Margot Robbie also stated in an interview that Jared was so lost in his character that there were moments that she was afraid she was going to get beat up on set due to the dynamic of her character and his character. Margot Robbie was quoted saying that she was scared to be around Jared because she thought that he would maybe beat her up. Can we get HR or something in here? I don't understand how Jared can get away with this bad behavior. This person tweeted, I independently know two underage at the time girls who Jared approached on the streets of NYC, got their number and asked for nudes. If I personally know two girls, how many are out there? Like this man is a straight up predator and I will never support him, which it's hard not to support Jared because he's in so many big movies. He's everywhere. So do we stop supporting Jared? It seems like it would be pretty hard to do so because he's in so many big projects and movies. He's got a ton of opportunities. So I feel like Jared isn't going away anytime soon, but maybe people will recognize his bad behavior a little more so he would slow down down on it, but I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Jared has never responded to these accusations before, and it doesn't seem like he really has to because nobody has really made any effort to expose him. There have been Reddit threads and blogs online, but no big news sources have, you know, put together these accusations, these allegations, and really come up to him and forced him to acknowledge them. Maybe things are changing. I don't know. I mean, Jared Leto's name has been trending this past week for all the wrong reasons. So people are starting to wake up, but we'll just have to see. Um, let's go ahead and open this PO Box package item. Here's my email. If you guys have any other video ideas for me, email me, tell me, I will make it. Just send me the email. Um, and I also, I wanted to ask you guys, like, what do you, what was like the craziest part of this video? Like the, um, like the cult situation, the teen girls, the gifts, like, I think the part that I can't get over is probably the, um, the amount of girls. Like, there just seems to be a lot of different, like, women who have these stories of, um, Jared, and it's just like, such a crazy theme and pattern. It's like, how many people has he tried to get with before? Hello, my name is Stephanie, and I hope you're doing well. I own a small business that sells a variety of handmade items, including custom cups, um, budget binders, apparel, safety keychains, and more. My favorite thing to do while crafting is watch your videos. You're so funny, and I love how you deliver the tea in a professional way. Oh, thank you. Keep up the awesome work. My Instagram is craftsbygvf, and my Etsy name is craftsbygvf shop. Let's go ahead and wait girl oh okay so i was gonna say where is it okay so there's someone just gave me look so this is their business card and then someone just gave me this yesterday so i was like wait are you the same one but it's just like the same kind of drawing that is so funny i love these like cards like this style that's coming in let's go ahead and see what they sent me i have no idea oh my gosh what is going on here okay let's just get it out first okay so first off we have a super cute like photo album is this a photo album let's see oh my gosh oh this is like a budget thing yeah like a budget so you put your money your cash into these like little like things and this is how you budget your money oh my gosh i would lose this i would i would probably lose this right away but it's so pretty and i love the outside like this design it reminds me of my like tapestry thing you can't even see you can kind of see it Okay, and then let's see what this is. I'm kind of, oh, 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 I needed this. I didn't realize I needed this. Well, I don't know what this is. I don't know if I need that. That looks painful. <laughs> I guess actually it's supposed to look painful. It's like, um, what's it called? 
It's like a self-defense weapon. I guess if someone like tries to come and you like stab them. This is some pepper spray, I believe. Some mace, which I totally needed some mace. So thank you for that. Oh, I love this. Hmm. Fluffy. And then what is this? I'm kind of scared to touch it. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Oh, it's a flashlight. Is that all it does? I was like kind of scared though. Do something else. Hmm. I'll have to figure this out. Wow, this is so helpful. Thank you so much. I really love these. Definitely go and check out their shop below. And I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>